Hello and welcome to Fix It Man. I'm Cliff Brock. These projects aren't big household projects, but little things that will make life easier around the house. Let's see what's happening in the shop today. Fix It Man is doing something a little different today. Let me just confess up front, I'm no car guy. So I'm gonna be a little traumatized doing this. If you're looking for a video that will show you someone making this light bulb change out who's done it 50 times, this is the wrong video. What you're going to get is Cliff changing one. First time I've ever tried anything like this, and I have no idea how well it will go. If I swear too much, I may not even post the video, but we're gonna give it a try. Here's the problem. This light so simply does not light, and at night, you can't tell what your heater or your air conditioning is set on. So we're gonna change this bulb and no. this bulb. There are three other bulbs in these three and they're okay. And honestly, I'm not sure I've got the patience to do all five of them. So I'm just okay. gonna do the top two. If it goes well, I may trade them all out. They're sort of a funky orange color. And I've seen on some of the videos that I've looked at that uh, those can be changed out pretty easily for white bulbs. So we may try that today. Let's see how this thing is going to go. It doesn't take much in the way of tools. A flathead, a Phillips head, and if you have it, an 11 millimeter socket. You can take the one screw is all you have to take out with a Phillips head, but it's got an 11 millimeter head on it. And honestly, I just feel, uh, I like the, the feel of the security of having that, uh, that socket around the nut rather than a Phillips head. So let's give it a try and see how this works. <clears throat> this just pops out. By the way, if you know what this is used for, let me know, will you? I have never been able to figure out uh, what to put in there except some things that we never use. Sometimes it's good when you're working electrical to unhook the battery. Uh, I'm choosing not to do that because I'm only doing two bulbs. <clears throat> but if you're going to do all of them, I might suggest that you take out the take out take the positive lead off of your battery. Hands on both sides. Up. And I hope out. Aha. Uh -huh. So keep it forward, pull up, then out. You've got two little clips that hook on a rail right here. So that came out pretty easily. Now, this is the one that's going to traumatize us. This entire unit <coughs> is going to come out. We're going to unhook one electric lead and then we'll be at the bulbs so if uh, if we can see down here this screw right here we're going to put our socket on that screw i can see it and we're going to just loosen that screw you get the ratchet out of there this is where i usually drop the screw so i like to put my hands under it Make sure I get it when it comes out. And there he is. That 11 millimeter fits in perfectly and you never have to worry about stripping or that sort of thing if you use a socket. As you can see, that's a standard Phillips head. So it wouldn't be hard to do at all with a Phillips head, but I just prefer a socket when I can use a socket. <clears throat> we'll put that in the cup holder, get the tools out of the way. The trauma begins. This just, there, there's a distance between this face and this unit. And this unit's going to come out as one. Hands on both sides, pull gently, pull more gently, more force, and it's out. Boy, that was trauma, traumatic. All right, there are also clips on the top. So we're going to, we are loose. We now have this unit out. And if I can get it to turn around here. <clears throat> now there's 
a way to take this clip out, and honestly, I don't know what that is. So we're going to turn this, and let's see if I can figure out. Well, I came around to the other side. This little guy, I hope, is going to be the hardest thing that I have to do. If you can see that little panel right there, that is the clip. See how that flexes? And that lets you unplug him. Make sure he's in the channel, push the clip, and he comes right out. We now have our piece, and we are ready to change our bulbs. So <clears throat> the bulbs, I, I could have gotten these at Amazon, but I was just afraid of getting them to fit. They're expensive. These little puppies were like $7.25 a piece. And I put it on my credit card, so that was another 3%. You know, if I'm over the trauma of doing something I've never done before, I might well order these from Amazon. There are the parts numbers from the dealership. So what we're going to do now, <clears throat> we're replacing these two bulbs right here. Now, I've seen it done two ways. <clears throat> if you notice, there's a vertical line right here on that plastic. And there's a vertical when that bulb is in. Both sides have that. And I believe that you want to keep those vertical lines lined up. I have seen this done on video. <clears throat> Without those lines being lined up, and they seem to work just fine, but I'm just paranoid enough, never having done this before, that I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't chance it. I'm going to try to do this right here, sitting in place. I could take it in and put it on the bench, but I think maybe we can get this done pretty easily right here. <clears throat> We're going to take our flathead screwdriver. I believe this is just a quarter of a turn. And I believe I'm going to have to go get a smaller. My goodness, that is... There, there it came. All right, a quarter turn. I'm going to just see if it'll bump out. It uh, does not appear to bump out. So let's see. That is definitely loose. Work it back and forth a little bit and see. Well, that fought me a little bit getting the uh, bulbs out of there, but they're out. Let's compare them, make sure the dealership gave me the right one. Notice I had to go in and get my little friend here. They fought me for a while, but I did manage to, to get them both out. Let's take one. I do like to keep my hands off of the actual bulb. The oil in my hands might not be good for that bulb. So all I'm going to do is drop that in the space for it. I'm going to take my little guy and I'm going to line him up so he goes in. You saw it dropped in. All right, we've got our bulbs in. We put the wiring harness back in. When you put that back in, make sure it clicks so you have a good connection. Now, when we put this back in, I believe we're going to want to put the pink clips into the carrier like so. Snap it, snap it, and it's in. Let's see if that lights up. We have lights on both sides. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we do have lights on both sides. So we will take our 11 millimeter, put that in the socket, and very carefully put that in the hole. I always worry about cross-threading. I would not, this does, doesn't carry any weight. I'm not going to do that much more than just finger tight 
on putting that uh, screw back in there. The last thing I want to do is mess around and strip it. Just a finger tight. The last piece is to put this guy back in. Two little clips, two little slots for them to go in. We have lights. Well, that wasn't trauma, and I don't believe I swore even once. Well, there you have it. That was a job that had me a little bit traumatized. Uh, sometimes when you do a new project that you've never done anything like before, it can be a real pain in the neck. Take it slow. Watch what you're doing. Look at it. Do a dry run whenever you can. And I think you'll find that for $15, you'll replace the lights in your um, air conditioning heating panel. I think the dealership wanted $150 or $200 to do that task. I'm Cliff Brock. This is Fix It Man. Come back frequently and see what we've dreamed up in the shop next. Well, that's our video for today. Thank you for joining us. Come back soon and don't forget, like and subscribe. <music>